much for my iron arc survival scorch earth hey probably wondering why do you see this ugly phase well what i want to do i was going to record a video on like all the stuff and then i realized it's just like i need to do this first so what I want to do is give you my actual opinion and tell you if it's worth it and just explain a couple of things and stuff. And I'd rather um, you see my face expressions. So I don't know. Maybe it's something different. I don't know. I don't know. Because a lot of a lot of people have been asking me, is this worth the buy for 20 bucks? And I've said, yeah, it's worth the buy for my opinion for why I buy it. But then I give the reason why. Um, other people probably uh, frown upon it and like right now everyone's like oh don't support arc devs they're not finishing the main game oh it's just like it let's be honest it's confusing it's crap <laughs> it, it literally is well, let's talk about it so we're gonna fly around a little bit when we do that so scorch earth is the new expansion for arc if you don't know then you've been living underneath a rock and this expansion adds quite a bit of stuff it adds 50 plus new items uh, 12 creatures including the duplicates with the small golems and the extra wyvern and actually it's probably more now that I think about it there's, there's a lot of creatures in it and a new map and a new boss now you have to take you have to look at all this right arc originally right is an early access game that has a set goal that they didn't meet obviously um, it's an that they should have met but obviously they got messed up with the lawsuit if you know what happened some person hiring 40 million dollars they got sued they kind of lost it it's a big story go read it i'm not going to really explain it but pretty much they lost a lot of money because of this lawsuit i'm not giving any excuses for them but i hope i'm just giving you some backstory and explaining everything so arc has been out for pretty much an entire year now um it's been out Oof, God, since uh, August, no, June, July, yeah, we had the uh, anniversary um, this summer for it, and uh, it's been a crazy adventure for ARK. I mean, obviously, ARK's had a lot of changes going through it since development, and since it's been out, and um, this came out of, like, nowhere, like, oh, there's an expansion now, 20 bucks, and for my opinion, right, I have like almost 3,000 hours you know I play it at least almost 100 hours a week depending on what I'm doing obviously this week and last week I'm not because I'm playing more of uh, World of Warcraft Legion and uh, and stuff but um Ark has a lot to offer on the main game which is only 20 bucks usually on Steam and they have a there's they have a bunch they have a list of stuff that's gonna come out all the dossiers that are in development that are on the wiki you can take a look at, at the wiki um all of those are going to be put into the game so if you bought the game you'll be getting those dinosaurs and stuff anything that else they have promised that's a maybe is up in the air now because obviously of this expansion so that's all i want to talk about for the main game so the main game's great been through a lot in the year and it's getting there it's getting there but it's not done i would i i will wish i do wish that it was completed um with bug fixes and everything but it is what it is moving on let's get to the dlc so the dlc right the dlc is 20 dollars. it adds the 50 things plus the new creatures like i said in the map in the arena and all this other stuff if you look at the amount of detail that is into this map like for just instance if we go down here look how beautiful this looks just this little area it's got a little bridge it's got these plants and everything rocks trees dinosaurs i mean obviously dinosaurs are just randomly spawned but this was all made by hand people placing this people taking their time people putting their love into this game to make this game look beautiful and make it look amazing and you have to say like they did a great job i mean look at it look at this it's such a great map now obviously they could have done more work on the main map you would say but what was happening right this is the story that i get they were working on the main game they were also developing this on the side and obviously the lawsuit thing kind of screwed them all over so they wanted to quickly put out a new expansion 
which would bring back more people obviously this is a business thing um because of that and they needed more funds probably for the game now don't take anything of what i said right there because that's what i think would happen but obviously this has been in development for quite a bit of time i don't know how long i don't know how long the development team is obviously the development team's been a little bit lack luxer for the last couple six months i will say um but it is what it is so if we take a look at the items right you get all this new adobe buildings all this clay buildings all this new skins and all this oil rigs the oil rigs the water and stuff it's very cool all the animations all the effects for everything like the little opening of the tent is amazing the throwing down the oil is amazing um the flamethrower effects amazing like all of this stuff is so well done animated and stuff like it's very good it's probably one of the best things they've ever done for animation wise including the dinosaurs if you look at dinosaurs their clipping is amazing there's no clipping at all obviously when they're falling down for topor there is clipping everything has clipping for that it is what it is this, i'm accepting that when stuff does topor it has clipping but for the most part the animation in this expansion is very good it's top notch the the effects the textures everything is just so good now obviously there could be a couple things improved but for the most part i it's very 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 good so we're back at the base this little thing i just wanted to quickly explain what i mean about that um the stuff outside so for instance right you have all these new weapons this chainsaw i don't have the gas for the flamethrower the pulse cannon and the the this the boomerang and the whip well i'll just take a look at all of these right so obviously for arc animation has been a little bit of trouble for a lot of things but they usually get it down right right so look at for instance the boomerang it's got a very cool animation it's got a throw animation i mean look at that come back amazing the whip one of my favorite things from this expansion amazing amazing great coding absolutely amazing it makes dinosaurs go forward absolutely fantastic um the flamethrower one of the coolest things now a lot of people were saying like oh they promised flamethrowers in the main game but now you gotta pay 20 bucks listen all they've said i've read exactly what they said on the forums they said that they would like to add some sort of flame mechanic and some sort of flame stuff in the future but it's not guaranteed but they were thinking about it so obviously that's why a lot of people are mad about not being able to have a flamethrower but i mean look at this look at this even having it on dinosaurs and stuff very very cool and just having it on structures and stuff i mean it's it's great it's it's amazing animation the full skin aid this thing is cool look at this ready and it splits off and then it splits off even more here i'll it, oh i almost killed that guy sorry that's how i blew up that oh that's how i blew up everything <laughs> <laughs> all right you get my point the it's got a, a lot of good animations and stuff i mean even like this right the oil flowing down on the ground amazing they did an amazing job on the animation and stuff amazing amazing job on everything i will say and it's impressive now we go back to the talking about what else is in the expansion so obviously you get all this building stuff you get this oil rail oil rig kind of thing um i could just show you what that looks like you get this oil rig you got this power wind turbine in this uh well and what i was talking about earlier with the uh tent as well back over here it's got this little animation on that very cool so there's my little review of the animations and stuff now let's talk about um, the building and the mechanics and stuff. So we have I already did a whole video. You can check out the little thing up there or whatever. I um, click on that. You can see my speed build on that. The building in it is flawless. All right, it's 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 amazing. Like so, like Primal Plus, they had a retard. I, I'm just gonna be honest. They had an idiot coding that. I don't know who the hell coded that, but they were a freaking idiot. Um, I'm truly honest. I I really hope they fix that DLC because it's terrible. Um. <laughs> But the coding in for building is phenomenal. It's just like how it should be. It's released perfect. 
everything snap points are perfect everything is perfect about it um you can build anything you want you can mix match stuff you can mix stone with adobe wood is adobe thatch it all snaps together and it doesn't leave like any like problems like other stuff like the uh dlc for um a primitive plus primitive plus has problems like the ceilings there you can place them up high too low and whatnot the walls don't place properly and sometimes they're moved over too, too much sometimes they're into the ground sometimes the pillars are not snapped for some reason this dlc for building is phenomenal it's very good um that's probably why it's a really hitter for me as well as the map and the animation so the something to sum this video up because i didn't really want to make uh such a too long video you get for 20 bucks a new map the boss arena new animations new building blocks and a whole new world to explore i mean can't get wrong with that it, it's it's just, it's just so impressive and like I said earlier, they really did. They put their heart into this expansion because everything is so beautiful and it works. Now, obviously, it's not for everyone. Not everyone can pay $20. Not your friend can. And some people say for, like, PvP servers, your PvP people can go to this map, get some dragons, bring them back, and wipe the entire server off because these the, the wyverns, the dragons, are extremely extremely strong now i've seen the, them been definitely um on the forums been fixing the dragons they've been definitely nerfing them they've been fixing all all the bugs and everything um whatever pops up like uh, let's like world of warcraft right it's a new expansion right it's a brand new expansion there's always hot fixes every single day something breaks it happens the game's never going to be perfect until it's actually finishedly like launched and then everything's been buff fixed and nothing new adds Obviously, it's early access, so stuff like that always happens. So, I don't know. It's a good expansion. Is it worth 20 bucks? Yeah, it's worth $20. You can get almost probably another 500 hours on this alone. Just this alone. And I know a lot of people that don't even have 100 hours, and they enjoy ARC now. And if you buy this fresh... 100 hours you add this start playing this as soon as you want you'll you'll definitely enjoy it and i've had quite an amount of fun playing this and streaming it i do have to thank you guys for everyone that's been going to the streams and stuff when we do this so thank you anyways last thought then we'll wrap it up is it worth your 20 bucks like i said if you really want to spend 20 dollars and having a great adventure playing scorch earth definitely get it you want to enjoy um, dragons? <laughs> yeah, you get it. And if you want to just live in a desert and just play alone, just get it. It's a very good expansion. That's my thoughts. That's my kind of review. Um, that's all I have to say. I mean, I've never done any video like this before, so I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And stop criticizing the DLC that they just want your money. Obviously, it's a business. They need money. This is how you get money. But ARK has done phenomenal for the years. Um, it's it's going to do phenomenal for the years to come. So, stop hitting, stop hating on ARK, alright? I love this game. And I think everyone loves it too. But anyways, that is it. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment. I know I talked a lot and I give you my full-on opinion, but I feel like it was definitely needed because so many of you guys have kept asking me, is it worth 20 bucks? And final thoughts? Yes, it is. I really enjoying it. Hopefully you did too. Anyways, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.